Good morning, everybody. 37 minutes after the hour, or 23 minutes before the top of the hour, however you look at that glass. But how about this? Looking outside, a live picture this morning from downtown Terre Haute. Those cars are both traveling uh, eastward as we're looking westward across to Ohio Street here in downtown Terre Haute. And again, a sheet of ice all over everything is out there. Our forecast is simply this now. Winds out of the northwest are really blowing around. We've got some blowing snow in the forecast. We're going to go with about a one inch accumulation of snow by the end of the day today. With the winds blowing around, it's going to drop the temperatures down to about 14 degrees. Now, if you run into any of this snow during the day today, know that visibility is really going to be cut down and therefore slick spots. You put some light snow on top of the ice we've got, no good. As far as the sleet and the freezing rain, it's all out to the east now. It's moved off. But Winter Storm 2011 is still here and still very much alive because the winds are now picking up. We've got more areas of light snow on the back side of it. So by all means, we're not done yet. And you will run into this blowing snow through the day today. But this is the real problem right here. The wind speeds from 6 to 25, 14, and 28 mile an hour sustained wind speeds. Hey, this is really testing the integrity of the power lines and the trees and anything else that's sitting there just holding on to, you know, you got street lights that are holding on and you've got ice on it just adding extra weight. How much is it going to take before these things snap and let go? We're finding tree limbs coming down. Well, by the many each hour that goes by. And so power lines are going to continue to snap as well. Wind gusts are as high as 37, 26, 49 mile an hour wind gusts the past hour. So again, very, very windy outside. Uh, and again, really testing the integrity of everything outside. Notice these gray lines. These are your isobars. Don't show them to you too often unless it's very, very windy. Look at how many are on here versus how many are going to be on here tomorrow. And I'll show that to you as the time goes on with future casts. By this afternoon, the winds, again, testing the strength and durability of everything that's got ice on it this afternoon. Dropping the temperature from the mid-20s, which we're at right now, down into the mid-teens. So it's going to get much colder. And it's already freezing outside. 35 mile an hour wind gusts will be uh, common north, south, east, and west throughout the Wabash Valley. The blowing snow, accumulation about one inch, really lets up around sunset this evening. And again, the skies even try to clear. Notice how many isobars you got now. We'll stop this for tomorrow morning. Therefore, winds finally die down after about 9 or 10 o'clock this evening, really let up and be about 5 to maybe 10 miles per hour for tomorrow morning. You say, wait a minute, how do we have a big wind chill if we don't have much wind? Doesn't take much when you're down to 2 degrees. Very, very cold out there with wind chills. Again, 10 degrees below zero for Thursday morning. Clear skies? You betcha. Lots of sunshine, but don't think it's going to warm up by any means. It's going to be sunny, but still very cold. We'll top out about 15 or 16 degrees tomorrow. Wind speeds, again, not bad. 5 to 10 miles per that's better than today, but still going to keep the wind chills cold out there as we keep some sun around. I mentioned two degrees for tomorrow morning, wind chills 10 below. Again, we get into Friday morning, most of the clear skies down to about two degrees. It's going to be cold, very cold Thursday and Friday morning. Wind chills again about maybe five degrees below zero for Friday, a little bit better. But when you get below zero, I don't know if there's much better. It's definitely going to be cold out there. So 25 degrees, that's your forecast today, but that's dropping. That's misleading because your high temperature this afternoon will be 14. We've got gusty winds. We've got some areas of blowing snow, one inch of accumulation, not out of the question as we go through the day today. And if you drive in that, visibility is really going to be cut down with those winds blowing that snow around. Still windy tonight. A few clouds, two degrees the overnight low. Winds, as mentioned, they'll let up, but still going to be a bit active. 20, 25 mile an hour wind gust tonight, so again, very, very cold. Not as windy tomorrow. Noticeably better in that wind department. Noticeably better in the sky department, but not very good in the temperature department. 16 degrees, that's it. Next seven days. Okay, when do we get above freezing? When are we going to melt this ice? Tell you what, the sun's going to help a little bit tomorrow, but with a high of 16, going to be tough. 31 degrees on Saturday, a 20% chance for some light snow. 34 on Sunday. Sunday, that's when we're really going to start getting rid of this ice. Monday, we've got another chance for a wintry mix. And so two areas of low pressure, one on Saturday, one on Monday and Tuesday. They're right there in the wings waiting to give us more winter weather as this one begins to exit. But as we've talked several times this morning, don't be out and about unless you have to. And it's an absolute emergency. Also watch for power lines and tree limbs to continue to come down and power outages to continue to be numerous as we go through the day today.